What do I think of uh, macroeconomics at the uh, Institute in Stockholm? You know, if you're a macroeconomist, there, there must be something in the water there that makes it uh, ideal. Asa Lidbeck laid the foundations of IES, the Institute of International Economic Studies, some 50 years ago. His vision was to build a world-leading research institute with a research environment where young people really could thrive. So we hired some young and promising academics like Torsten Pearson, Lars Eos Svensson, Fabrizio Silibotti and Kjetil Storesletten are good examples of very successful careers that started at IES. Today we have a very good cooperation with the Department of Economics at Stockholm University. So we have an exceptionally strong macro group, very much in line with Asa Lindbeck's original vision. People like Pierre Crusell and, um, and Mittman, they, they, uh, they're, they're not just great creators of ideas, they're, they're, they're teachers. You know, everybody knows uh, Crusell Smith and uses it. So after the first year where you learn the basics, you move on to the second year where you finally get to choose some field courses. Another course that I enjoyed a lot was one about quantitative methods in macroeconomics. And that's basically using numerical analysis methods together with macroeconomic theory in order to be able to solve high dimensional models. Okay? We have a course that uh, started six, seven years ago and uh, the idea is to uh, force students to start from scratch on a project. And uh, the purpose really is to uh, help students get over the first hump of doing their own work. We're obviously strong in traditional uh, sides of macro and macro inequality, but I'm particularly happy that we, we also have very uh, active research in long-run growth and structural change. That involves, of course, climate change, which I work on myself, but it involves structural change uh, macro development and here I think Timo Boppart has been a huge influence. Add to that macro labor which I also view as a long run topic. Uh, here I think for example Paul Klein's work is, uh, is really great. In my third year I got a scholarship to study one year abroad and I went to Harvard and and that was true for many of my friends in the PhD program. Environment for macroeconomists here at SU is really um, ex excellent, I'd say. There are like two main research groups within macro where we meet on a regular basis. One is um, the uh, faculty and student macro group, where every other week we have a session where students present their work in progress. And then we have another um, more informal student-based um, research group where we meet on a weekly basis and we can just help each other out on whatever things we're working at at the moment. In Sweden we have this fantastic resource for micro-founded macro research and that I've been granted some access to, namely high quality micro data for the universe of workers and firms in Sweden. Here there's more of an open door policy. Um, you don't have to book a meeting and then three weeks later you get half an hour. You, you can basically stop by, you can ask uh, your advisor or other people. You have this super difficult problem, it's a programming problem, how should I solve this and what type of method? Well, then you can go and knock on Kurt Mittman's door and ask him how he would have done. I got a lot of very valuable advice how to write a good paper and how to focus on the important economic questions of our time. The first two or three years uh, in terms of supervision, uh, for macro students at least, the supervision is kind of based on regular big group meetings. You present in a big group and uh, the whole macro faculty is there. I think it's actually the most important part of my job to be an advisor. It is the end goal to get good jobs somehow. And, and that's why the job market is super important. Stockholm is one of the few programs in Europe which can uh, place students in top universities around the world, including the US. I'm extremely happy with my career path and I really consider myself lucky to have started it at Stockholm University. 
So we recently received a big grant that allows us to expand our PhD program to focus a little bit more on uh, monetary policy and financial stability. These are fields we have uh, been very strong in, but uh, this new money will allow us to uh, attract more students and also bring in faculty, guest faculty and maybe permanent faculty in these areas. Uh, it's a collaboration between my department and the Department of Economics and the Finance Group at Stockholm Business School.